Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope everyone is doing well. Listen, y'all, I want to talk about Carlos Q. Emil. And everything that I'm saying in this video is in my opinion, my thoughts and my feelings. I'm not making any claims or rendering any judgment. I am just stating my opinion on the situation that I'm about to discuss. Okay, let's get into it. Because, baby, the disrespect is loud. I know y'all heard about the apology Q gave to Mel, him saying that he was, you know, going to start back reviewing the show and Carlos posted on his IG, quote, baby, you know the season premiere of hashtag LAMH must be good to get Miss Funky Dineva out of retirement, child. Go watch his latest recap on his YouTube channel and catch up on the premiere episode of hashtag LAMH on our on the own app on demand or DVR. End quote. Now let me tell you what that says to me, and this is my opinion. I feel like Q was called in for reinforcement. Even though Carlos and Marceau and whoever else tried to make it seem like Mel nor her fan base mattered when it came to Love and Marriage Huntsville, that's clearly a lie because it's mighty convenient that Q came out of retirement for love and marriage Huntsville. Secondly, Carlos posting and praising Q was a slap in the face to each and every content creator who has basically brought views to this show through their commentary. Whether that was on YouTube, Instagram posts, TikTok, Facebook, whatever the platform, it still to me felt like he looked his nose down on the folks who have really been putting eyes on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And that's not to take anything away from the time that Q was reviewing the show. And it's an extra slap in the face to the content creators who have tried to stay neutral. But I guess since other content creator platforms aren't as big as Q's, they didn't, you know, like deserve any recognition. I mean, Bundy has a, you know, she's been reviewing this show since day one and she has a huge platform. Why not give her that opportunity? But wait, never mind. She a black woman. Never mind. Never mind. Don't worry about it. You know who else is a slap in the face too? Melody Cherie. Because in my opinion, it is saying before I acknowledge my wrongs, before I hold Martel accountable for everything he has done on my watch, and before I give you a real heartfelt apology, I reach out to every content creator with a large platform and ask for a favor, allegedly. Before I do any of that, because this is my show, I created Love and Marriage Huntsville. My pride won't allow me to look you in your face and say that I'm sorry, but it will allow me to reach out to people who I feel can bring views to this show just to prove to you and your fan base that I don't need y'all and y'all don't mean nothing to me. Now for me, that's what bringing Funky out of retirement is saying. And I don't know how many other times or ways Carlos King is going to have to tell y'all that he don't give two else about Melody or her melometers. But it's right in your face. Mel ain't said not one word about this season. Not one. So when it comes to the people who say that they own what Mel is on, she don't even seem to be on promoting this show. So what y'all doing? And I know, like I said, we have to have our Martins and our Roses to balance out the Malcolms and the Panthers, and we do. But we have to be strategic in how we do that. Because let me tell you what's going to happen. If the views for next week's show go up just off Q's review of the first episode and him saying that he's going to review the season... Carlos is going to throw it in your face and basically say, I told you we don't need y'all. And just like he said on the interview with Millichan, that whatever folks were hollering about a blackout, those were the highest viewed shows. And if you paid attention to the comments under Carlos's post about Q, there were a number of people who said that they had stopped watching it. But if Q starts back reviewing it, they'll watch the show. And that's going to cause a problem because if you haven't been watching it and you just jump back in now, you're missing a whole bunch of information and then you're just going to be talking mess. 
You're going to be talking mess. You're going to be talking wrong. You ain't going to know what you're talking about. But as far as being strategic, if you purchased a streaming service just to watch the show, cancel it and become a member to a YouTube channel who hosts live watch parties. Some of them even have Patreon accounts. Or you can just watch the clips on IG from the Love and Marriage Huntsville IG page, the OMFG Reality TV page, or the Bravo Shade Room page. The goal is to show them that the millimeters and male supporters do matter. We do make a difference, but we will not be disrespected. And Carlos using Q, in my opinion, is law three of the 48 laws of power. And that law is to conceal your intentions, keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing the purpose behind your actions. And in order to do this, you have to have a decoy that will be cute. You also need false sincerity. This is where the apology comes in. Now, he could have been very secure, you know, sincere with his apology. It just feels a little off to me. So with the decoy and the false sincerity, what the person is doing is pretending to support an idea or cause that they really don't care about in order to help them achieve their goal. And in this case, the goal, in my opinion, is to keep the views up in order to show Melody that one monkey nor millimeter don't stop no show. But. In order for the false sincerity to be effective, according to the law, the decoy has to, quote, espouse a belief in honesty and forthrightness, do this as publicly as possible, and divulge some heartfelt thoughts, end quote. Okay, so for me, because all this is my opinion and my thoughts, that goes back to the apology. It was done publicly. It came out very heartfelt. When he did his review, he said all the things that the people who are, you know, consider themselves to be on the side of the right side of the situation would say, like calling Marlene out for not, you know, for upholding Martel's wrongs, calling Martel out for his foolishness, calling Carlos out by saying Martel should have been suspended and so forth and so on. The other part of concealing your intentions has to do with using smoke screens to disguise your actions by hiding your intentions behind the comfortable and the familiar. To me, this is why Q was brought in because people are familiar with Q and he has a huge fan base who is comfortable with him. Also within this law, the decoy, the decoy also has to use a smoke screen of patterns. So that means when Q, with Q saying he's going to review the show, folks will be anticipating seeing his review every Saturday night or Sunday morning, you know, like whenever he do his review. The other smoke screen is to make people feel like y'all on the same team. You see what's happening here? But on the reverse side of law three, it states, quote, no smokescreen, red herring, false sincerity, or any other diversionary device will succeed in concealing your intentions if you already have an established reputation for deception, end quote. And that's why Carlos couldn't pull this off himself, in my opinion, because some people already see him as a deceiver, a liar, a swiper, and on top of that, fake and annoying. So yeah, going to get Q to help put eyes on the show is all a plot, in my opinion, to prove to Melody and her fan base that they don't run or stop nothing. But I think that's until all, you know, starts looking deep into that $5 million lawsuit. Because from my experience from watching on since the love, since, uh, not love is, uh, the have and the have nots. Oprah, and I know she doesn't own as much of the network as she used to, and she doesn't hold the same rights. But when it came to lawsuits and anything legal that pulled on into it, they were let go. 
This happened with Love Is. It happened with Wingmen. And it show sure enough happened with Sweetie Pies. So if the show doesn't get canceled because of views, that lawsuit, it probably got a couple of phones ringing. For sure. <laughs> Y'all, get down in the comments. Tell me what you think about this. Let's talk about it. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.